In this video, we're going to talk about the CSS box model. So this isn't really going to teach you how to make anything. It's more about understanding the design of how things look when you set them up in CSS. So the image you see in front of you is the CSS box model. So everything that you create can have this box model surrounding it. So in the center of the model, we have the content. And the content is obviously things like your paragraph text, your images, all the things that are being written and showing up on your page. Above the content, we're surrounded by the padding. And the padding is transparent, which means there's no background. So the padding clears an area around the content. So you can see that it's spacing the content top, bottom, left, and right. Above the padding, we have the border. So the border goes around the padding and content, and your border can have a color, you can have a black outline, all those types of things. And after the border, we then have the margin. The margin, like the padding, is also transparent, and the margin clears the area outside of the border. So the padding clears an area from the content and the margin clears an area from the border. So we have that box that can separate everything that we create with our CSS. Div tags, things like that, all have margin, border, padding, and content sitting inside of them. So let's have a quick look at what that would look like. I'm going to create a new HTML file just to show an example of what that would look like. I'm call it box.html. And I'm going to create a new CSS file. Because these are just for the HTML and CSS. I'm just going to copy and paste the necessary code to make my life a little bit easier. So open body, close body, and then I'm going to close the HTML document. Now the link for the CSS is not main CSS, but a link to box CSS. So I've set up my HTML just to have quick little thing and I've got my box CSS. So I'm going to write some CSS to show the box model in action. I'm going to create a div tag because I want to show the box model inside the div tag. Alright, so I've just got a little text in there in my div tag. So let's style it now so we can see the box model in action. We can see the padding, the margin, the design. So it's a div tag, so I'm going to write div, open close brackets, and I'm going to do all the CSS for the box model. So let's pick a background color so we can see um, what it looks like. So I'm just going to go gray. I'm going to give it a width. So width of 500 pixels. I'm going to give it a border now, so border, and I'll make that 20 pixels thick. And I'm going to say solid so I can see the border line and now you can see it appear and we'll give it a color as well. Now some padding. And we can see the space that's created around our content and lastly the margin. And we can now see space created from the border. So if we were to open up that picture again we can see we have a margin now above our border. We have the border itself. We have the padding now above the content and we have our content. So I have used this CSS here, simply to say width, border, padding, margin, just to visually show you that box model in action. Now this becomes very important when you start styling your page and trying to lay everything out because you can have to start understanding the margin affects the border. The padding affects the content and how the width and the border itself works. So that's really important when you start designing. 